Hey guys, welcome back. So in today's video, I thought I'd share with you guys some tips and tricks for customizing your lock screen. I have had so much fun experimenting and trying out different things with lock screens since iOS 16 came out. There are so many cool apps and things. I've done a bunch of videos on a lot of these things, but I thought I'd share with you guys in one video some of my tips and tricks for just customizing your lock screen that I really like to use and utilize. So yeah, let's go ahead and take a look at all this. Um, first, I'm gonna cover some of my lock screen so you guys can kind of get an idea. Um, and then we're gonna get into how I achieve these lock screens. Okay, so let's get started and get into the video. So let's go ahead and take a look at all my lock screens here. I'm not gonna go through all of them in detail because I have a whole video on what's on my iPhone where I kind of go into them that you can go check out. But um, here, so the first one I have here is just one that I have of my engagement. Um, and then here, I'm just gonna go scroll through them so you just can see all of them that I have because I have quite a lot. So here you can see, um, these are all my wallpapers. They all kind of have different themes. So yeah, I have a lot because of I, because I made a lot of videos about the lock screens. That's why I have so much. I can actually delete a few of them probably. Um, but yeah, so these are all the ones that I have. Um, so usually you get kind of like two different types, I guess. Um, for in my case, I have just the ones with some cool images and things like that, that I really like. Um, and then you also get these ones here, which are more graphics, not so much an image. I really like to use these because I can really have fun with the font of the time and the coloring because um, we have some text on those as well. So I feel like I can just play around with these more than I can with just an image, I feel like. And especially with the widgets, I feel they just channel in really really nicely with these. Um, so yeah, but first I'm gonna go ahead and just cover the basics for just creating a wallpaper with the um, just a plain image. So I'm gonna click on the plus button here and we're gonna choose an image. This image here kind of looks like a crystal, so I think it looks really nice. Um, and now let's go ahead and edit a few things. So you can probably already know about like this setup here, how to change it. Here you can just choose what you wanna preview there, all the different things you can preview up there. I'm just gonna go for the weather and the date up there. And then what you can also do is you can adjust your time font. So here we have all the different ones. For this wallpaper, I'm gonna go for this kind of font, I think. Yeah, I think this one just looks more elegant that kind of fits with the image. Um, and then you can go for the color. So this usually plays a big role. Um, f so for me, what I like to do for wallpapers is you can either just go ahead and set it to this one. So this just, takes your image into account and then chooses a color for it. Um, so it just automatically chooses your color for you, or you can go to this little section here with your color um, spectrum, and then you can go ahead and choose a specific color. Um, so here you can see all the colors that we have. Usually I like to go with white, um, but in this case, I feel like it kind of gets lost. But also a big tip I really recommend for you guys, I'm gonna cover it in the other wallpapers as well, is using the color picker tool and maybe picking up a color from your wallpaper. This is not gonna work, I think, in the case of this one, just because it kind of just gets lost. So let's just go for white with this one, but um, yeah, you can play around with that a lot and see if you can pick up a good color with the color picker tool. Um, so yeah, coloring, this is very nice. Then what I wanna cover is the fact that you have the option for different colored filters. Now, some of these are really nice, so black and white looks really cool. It not just only makes your background black and white, but also your text kind of gets a different color as well, just because it is set to that option. If you had it set to just white and you change the filter, it's not gonna change. Um, but let's just go ahead and keep it on that for now. Then we have Duotone. So Duotone is really nice because you can influence the way that this image appears by clicking on these three dots and going to the style color. And then you can go ahead and choose a different color. Um, the Duotone is really rough on this though. You can go to color wash, this filter. It's a little lighter on the image. So you can see, it'll see a bit more detail when it comes to the image. But um, yeah, it looks really cool. Um, so you can play around with that as well. If you want to have some texture from the photo, 
but just a different color then you can play around with all those options um, but yeah I like the image just as it is so that's how I usually go about customizing just a plain image um, just like this. I'm gonna get to the widgets in a bit so let's just go ahead and just set this first and then we'll go to widgets and things like that. Um, so let's just click on add. Okay so then we have our little lock screen here. Now I first want to focus on when you have an image that has a subject that it, it nudges the time between the subject and the background. I'm gonna use this image as an example for you guys because there is a very cool feature that is with um, images like this which has a very vivid subject that usually is a person um, and then you have your background and that is the filter um, if I just scroll called studio so this changes the color of your background and not your um, subject so I can go ahead and click on these three dots again and click on high key this is this or you can click on low key which looks like that so then it just changes the background a bit um, so you can go ahead and do that with your images if you want to. Then we also have black and white here. Um, we have color backdrop, which again, you can change the color of the background and not your subjects. It does influence it a bit, but not too much. But with this, you can go ahead and go again go to the three dots and then choose your background color. Um, so as you can see, then you can play around with this even more and find something that you might like. So yeah, that is also something you can do with images which has a very vivid subject that are usually people, like I said, and you just wanna change the background a bit, you can go ahead and use the color backdrop option. And then obviously you have the same filters that we had previously with the other image, um, which we covered. So yeah, that is also something you can do. And if you have an image like this that has that 3D effect, but you don't want the 3D effect, all you need to do to change that is just click on the three dots and turn off depth effect and then your subject will be behind the time. Okay, so now let's go ahead and cover my favorite types of wallpapers, which is, are these ones. Um, and for these, I'm gonna be specifically focusing on widgets just because I said, I feel like they just work better when it comes to um, widgets. So I'm just gonna go ahead and come to this one right here. Um, so I'm gonna cover just how I kind of, my thought process when customizing this. So for the font, I just wanted something retro because of the design of the wallpaper itself. So it was between this and this, but I think the thicker font really works with this font here, which is also very thick. Um, and then for widgets, which what I chose for this, um, we have this animated widget here, which is from an app called MD Clock. You do need to pay for this option, but they have a bunch of cute 8-bit graphics that you can go ahead and choose from. And um, you can click on it and then change the character. So they have more than one type of character. So they are now for the Christmas theme, they have Santa also here, which is really cool. And the color of the widget is basically influenced by the color of your time. The time color I got off of this image, so I just selected it, went here and used the color picker tool and then just picked up a color. And then that was how I set it to that color. Um, so yeah, I really like this look. I also have this widget here, which is from Color Widgets. So um, if I go into Color Widgets here, you will see they have your lock screen widgets. And here you can see all of them, the different styles that they have here. They have some graphics. Um, they have a whole dedicated section here for lock screen widgets that you can go ahead and choose one that you really like for yourself. Um, they have small ones, they have bigger ones, um, all that. So. Yeah, this is where I got that widget. So I really like that. So color widgets, I highly recommend for you guys to check out when adding widgets to your lock screen. Then also with this lock screen and also this one here, you'll see I have these app shortcuts and they actually work. So if I click on Notion, it's gonna take me to Notion. Um, so these are also really cool and some of my favorites because of the way they look and the way that they are functional. Um, so again, this is the same wallpaper. This one is just in a different color. I chose this font here um, and then I added these and these widgets you get from top widgets. I have a whole video going in detail on how to get these app shortcuts, which I will leave in the eye up top. But just to show you guys real quick, if I go into top widgets, you will see here in the lock screen section, they have launch. So this is an app launcher. So you just go in here, choose the app that you want. And I just feel like the 
top widgets a widget for this because color widgets also has the option for a launcher but i feel like top widgets is one just looks the best for me because of the app logos that they use and also how functional it is it's really easy to use so yeah top widgets is what i really recommend for you guys if you want to add these launcher widgets to your lock screen here i also have just two widgets here that are both from color widgets which are just the calendar widgets that they have um, and then here we have have um, some more widgets so this is just Apple's default battery widget that you can go ahead and choose when you click here you'll see you have a bunch of things so battery here um, that is just Apple's one because I just really like it and it's very simple then this one right here is actually from widget smith that is their moon phase widget so that is what that is and this sparkles one here is from color widgets and it's just a cool cute little graphic that you can go ahead and and add so that is all the widgets that I have for my lock screens that I like to use um, mostly so all these you can see kind of have the same types of widgets the launchers the widget smith ones with the moon phase so that is really all I do for customizing my lock screens so yeah that is how I go about creating my lock screens I hope this could help you guys out to kind of see what I what my thought process is when I'm creating my lock screen and customizing it and adding widgets. I hope you could find some cool widgets to use because I feel like widgets are definitely the number one thing that kind of influences your lock screen as well. So um, yeah, I really, really hope this helped you guys out. If this did, give it a thumbs up and comment down below if you have any tips and tricks for me for creating your lock screens or editing it or customizing it. I would love to get some more like recommendations. And if you haven't already, definitely subscribe clicking on the icon on the screen click on the playlist to see all of my other customization videos like this i have quite a lot and click on the video to see one of my previously uploaded videos i'll see you guys next time bye